My name is Fadzai Mwakutuya. I'm a visual artist, sometimes an artivist. I live in the Highlands and I'm originally from Zimbabwe. Climate Change Creative is a website that encourages people to share some visual imagery about climate impact on where they are. I was motivated to start collecting art and looking at art about climate change. When I started engaging more with climate change discussions and sustainability issues, I began to understand how global warming impacted on Zimbabwe. And that's where I started feeling uh, motivated to tell my story of the impact of climate change in different communities around the world. I felt it was important to amplify and encourage the voice of marginalized communities, especially in terms of climate action and climate change, because we don't hear from these marginalized voices normally. And for me, it was important that climate change discussions included their voices. There can be marginalization uh, because of geography and because of language barriers. I feel art can help these voices be heard because we all use visuals and we all understand that language, the visual language. So these are the ones that we chose to be printed for COP. Um, this one is by Kundai Nathan from Zimbabwe. Um, I really like this piece by Danisile Ngube. Uh, it's called Under Fire. It's a very beautiful piece uh, showing all sorts of industrial pollution. And that will be shown alongside my piece, which is called Tongo Nyunguduka, which in my language means we are melting. For me, it's quite exciting and a little bit nerve-wracking um, that the images have managed to manifest themselves in the way that I'd hope they would uh, in terms of being part of the climate conversation at COP26 in Glasgow. I moved to Scotland 13 years ago. It feels like forever. <laughs> um, and slowly acclimatizing to the climate and how it varies quite quickly in a day. I actually live on a off-grid peninsula that relies solely on wind turbines and solar panels for its energy. A green and sustainable lifestyle is, is, is just something that I find calming. It all ties in with my environmental art practice that I'm trying to uh, embark on. So I tend to go to the seafront and uh, collect seaweed. There's something tangible about using natural resources. Um, rather than going to buy something, going to pick the seaweed actually makes it more interesting and intricate to process when you're art making. I feel when I live on Skorig that I'm free. I'm free to be who I am and I love the hills, I love the birds. Um, you see the deer in the garden, they're eating the flowers. I know it's annoying but it's like sharing land with, with nature. It's, it's very grounding. I look forward to Climate Change Creative being a resource for other people around the world as a form of engagement with other communities out there. Wherever we are in our global corner, we get to see what's happening in other parts of the world. 
You don't have to be an artist, it's for everyone.